So my Volvo is back in the shop again and I picked it up and had to return it to the same day. And here is why. So last Friday, which was the 27th of October, my Volvo PV544 Sport was actually ready. I took her into the shop to get the tack redone to get the freeze plug changed and to retune the carburetors. They told me uh, two Fridays ago, or the Monday before that Friday of the 27th, that it was ready. I said, well, I got work, so can it wait until Friday for me to pick it up? They said, sure. So Friday came along and I picked her up. I paid him $300 for the job. I went ahead and drove her home. No issues, Tack was working perfectly. She was in sync, she had power, she was driving. Then, right by my house, I stopped to fuel at a grocery store gas station. When I finished fueling, I started her up and I started driving. And I tried to use the turn signal. No turn signal would, uh, would work. Like the lights worked, but the turn signal did. uh, didn't. So I went, when I got home, I decided to fiddle around and see what was wrong. Couldn't find anything. The lights work. The turn signals, which act also as clearance lights when you power them on, work, but the turn signal doesn't work. What actually does start to happen is when you turn on the turn signal on the switch, the red amp light, the Volvo dash, starts showing up. Now, I couldn't catch it because here's here's what's gonna, here's the rest of the story. So instead of the turn signals working when you power them on, the red amp light turns on, and as well, my fuel gauge, which was reading full whenever you turn it on the turn signal, goes to empty right away and stays there. It doesn't go back and forth like a turn signal, but it goes in empty. Now, when you put the turn signal switch into neutral position, it goes back to its normal reading, which was funny. So I called up the mechanic and I was like, I'm taking her back. He's like, that's fine. And on the way there, halfway through there, the turn signal magically started working all over again. And I was, huh, that's weird. And a couple times to back to the shop, it would work and it would not work at the same time. But by the time I got to the shop, everything was working 100%. So when I got her back, the mechanic said I wasn't the mechanic that worked on it. My buddy was working on it. So he said it was probably something dumb and funny that's causing this to happen. Something loose or something someone touched accidentally while installing your tachometer, your RPM gauge. That's what he said. So the car is going to be there probably for another week and a half in the shop again because of a wiring issue. Now, I like these mechanics. These mechanics are good. They never overcharged me yet, and I know they can fix the problem. Here's what I plan to do. If the problem doesn't get fixed, I'm gonna drive the car as is, and someday, if I still own the car, maybe it will actually get worse, and I can actually catch the problem. But I checked the car out throughout, like everywhere I could, uh, on top of the fuel tank for the fuel, um, uh, the fuel level, like uh, a wire where it goes to the fuel gauge, I checked underneath the dash as much as I could, and the engine bay everywhere, nothing loose. I don't see nothing wrong, no corroded wires, nothing. So I don't know what this could be. All I know is that day when I went 30 miles to pick up and found it in South Carolina, I had to drive back to South Carolina. When I drove to South Carolina, I had to drive back to found it in South Carolina again. So that was kind of a hard day for me just driving back and forth when I really, really, really wanted my Volvo back for the car show and that just didn't turn out. And I'm also trying to sell her and it's just getting frustrating that she's always in the shop and it's really not my fault. It all started with the mobile mechanic that messed up things in the first place. So hopefully I can get her back finally running in one piece. Now, good thing is she runs perfect. That's the good thing. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with the engine. It's just that turn signal was acting funny and I had to return it back. Now, mechanics did say if this would be our fault, that it was something on our part, we would cover it for free because we stand by our work. That's what I like about them. So if it's not their fault, there's something else wrong with the electrical in that car. Not canceled. Hey guys, I'm Eddie B. Driving a 10 from the 6 Series.